Good morning, my dear student. Today we have first unit in OL course, uh, New Hello Year 2. Okay, coming home. This is the title of our unit. Let's start. I want you to watch this video and write down your notes. What is the daily routine of the boy in the video? What is the daily routine? We know the daily routine, something or the action that we do at every day. Okay, so let's watch this video. I get up at 7, so this is the first day in your routine. So in our daily routine or the boy or the video that we have watched, we know how to express or how to know our daily routine. Daily routine is something that we can do it every day and we use here, uh, I want you to tell me the tense that we use here. Yes, you are very good. I use the present symbol to express the daily routine. Now I want to talk about Mariam and her daily routine. I am Mariam, my daily routine is the same every school day. I always get up at 30 in the morning, my mom always makes my breakfast, I go to school by bus with my friend Dina, sometimes we listen to music, my, my parents work at the hospital, they get home late, so I often help to make dinner, in the evening I do my homework, read on the sofa, watch TV and text my friend, then I go to bed. So this is what, this is Mar Marianne's daily routine. Look, we have some words or we call them adverbs of frequency, like always, here, like sometimes, huh? what else, very good, oh, okay. And we can put them before the verb or before present symbol, okay. We have here, like uh, this, uh, the, our daily routine, the verbs like get up, after that make breakfast, after that uh, listen to music, work at uh, the hospital, okay, uh, make dinner, I do my homework, all of that I read on the sofa, I watch TV and text my friends, I go to bed. So I'm talking here about uh, Mariam's daily routine. After that, read the Mariam's daily routine. How does she get to school? Yes, who can answer that? Huh? Yes, you are very good. Huh? Yes, she goes to school by bus. She goes to school by bus. Number two, read about Mariam again. Are these sentences true or false? And let's correct the false statement or the false sentence. The first one already answered. Second one, Mariam cooks breakfast before school. Yes, huh? Yeah, okay, false. Her mom always makes her breakfast. 
Number three, Maryam sometimes listens to music on her way to school. Yes, true. Very good. Number four, Maryam always makes dinner for her parents. False. She often helps to make dinner. The last one, Maryam often watches TV in bed. Yes, ha. Huh? You are very good. False. She watches TV, ha. Huh? As we said before, on the sofa. Next. Read and complete. Mariam doesn't get up at 7 o'clock. Yes, very good. She, huh, I want to complete here using present symbol as we have before. Okay, I told you that if I'm talking about the daily routine, we have to use which verb? Yeah, we have to use very good present symbol. Here, the present symbol tells here that we can use here she, huh, get. Can I write she get? No, you are very good. Yes, we have to say she gets up. She gets up, okay, after that. Mariam, make breakfast. Mariam, make breakfast. Here, Mariam and me, no, we can write Mariam, make. So I have to put this one in negative. Yes, what the negative here? Yeah, don't, wrong. Yes, I have to write her, doesn't. So Mariam doesn't make her breakfast. Her mom always, huh? Make it, can I say make it? Yes, you are very good, her mom. Huh? You have to write mix. Next, her parents at school. Her parents don't work at school. They works. Can I write works here? No. Yes, very good. So I have to write work only because I have they. They home early. They what? They don't get home early. What? They get home late. Very good. Next. Answer the questions. The first question already answered. Second one. Do her parents make dinner? Ah, yes, very good. Yes, they do. Next. Does Mariam text her friends before she goes to bed? Yeah, you are very good. Yes, she does. Does Mariam do the same every school day? Yes, she does. Very good. You are very good. Next question. Now we have the adverb of frequency. Okay, so let's watch this video and know huh, how we write uh, the adverb of frequency. Adverbs of frequency. An adverb of frequency tells us how often something takes place. Always. I always wake up at 6 o'clock. So this is the first one. We have to ask about the, all of them using up. Huh? Very good, yes. Huh? How often? 90% usually. I usually come home after work. Yes. I usually come home. So where I put usually and also before the main verb. Very good. Normally, generally. I normally swim after school. 80, normally, generally. I will use that. I normally swim after school. Often, frequently. I often spend Christmas with friends. Often or frequently. Sometimes. I sometimes play tennis on the weekend. Next sometimes. Look at the, all the adverb of frequency. I put them before, yes, the main verb. And if I want to ask about them, I have to ask using what, how often. Very good. Occasionally. Seldom. 
I seldom go to the library. Ten percent, yes, seldom? Rarely. I rarely listen to the radio. Never. I never listen to the radio. The last one, never, and this is zero percent. Now we finish the adverb of frequency, okay? All of them, we put them all before the main verb, okay? And how we ask about them, we ask about them using yes, very good. Now, using how often, okay? Now listen to, look quickly at the block. How does Riva help at all? Look. This is student book page four, my best friend's family. Hi everyone, today's interview is with my best friend Sharifa and her family. Here is a photo of us, Sharifa's on the right. How many, the first question here, how many are, how many people are in your family? Sharifa, Sharifa answered and said, there are five people, me, mom, dad, and ma, and my two brothers. Next. When do you get up? I usually get up at 6.30 and help mom make breakfast. My brothers help too. My dad starts work every very early, so he leaves home before we get up. That's why he doesn't have breakfast with us. He eats when he gets to work. After that, I walk to school. So I walk to school with my brothers. Do you like to study? Yes, I do. My favorite subject is English. Next. What do you do in the evening? I often listen to music. Uh, my dad and I sometimes play chess. My brother always watch TV and my mom usually reads. Let's have some questions. Let's answer some questions here. The first one already answered. Number two, where does Sharifa's dad eat uh, his breakfast? Yes, huh? and why? Yeah, they all eat together? No. He eats, yes, and yeah, and or at his work, okay? After that, why? Because huh, he works up early and he gets his uh, uh, breakfast at work, okay? Second one. How do Sharifa and her brother get to school? They go by bus? No. They walk to school. After that, what's Sharifa's favorite subject? Yes, you are very good. English, yes. How often does she listen? Yes, she often listen, listens to music. After that, what do Sharifa and her dad do in the evening? They play chess together, okay? And all of the answers here, I already answered for you, okay? Lesson three. Read the profile quickly. Which of the three questions is Shahana answering? So we have, look, we have three questions. I want you to read that. And after that, tell me which question ah, the answer here, okay? So first one, what are your hobbies and interests? Or what is the typical or a typical day in your life? Or what job do you want to do one day? So this is the answer of Shahan. And they have three questions. I give you one minute to read the passage and then tell me which question huh, we can ask to Shahan to answer this answering, okay? Huh? Yes, okay. Uh, we can answer. 
Let's see the first one, or the second one, or the third one. Yes, huh? I hear some of you. Yes, said. Very good, you are very good. So the second answer. What is a typical day in your life channel? Because she answered here and said about her typical day. We have some questions. The first one already answered. Number two, Shahana lives or doesn't live in a city? Yes, Shahana doesn't live in a city. She lives in a village. Number two, the family has or doesn't have water? Yes, the family doesn't have water, okay? Next, Shahana has or doesn't have breakfast with her family? Shahana has. Next, she helps her mother feed the kitchens or make dinner? Yes, very good, make dinner. Next. I want you to make some questions here. We have the answer, and I want you to make questions. First one already answered. Number two, she shares a room with her sister. I want to ask here about her sister here. We ask about people with, yes, very good, who? So who, huh? Yes, very good. Who shares a room with her? Who shares a room with her? Let's see the answer. Number three, she has bread with a cup of or a cup of tea so i want you to ask here yes the answer what or this question here what does she yes have because i have this the verb here so does she have what does she have for breakfast the last one he works in a shop so i want to ask about in the shop so i have to ask with where so where does her dad work okay so this one how to make question for the answers okay after that now it's your turn I want you to write a paragraph here and I give you some question so I want you to follow the guide uh, this question and answer them all to write your own paragraph done so what's your name uh, where are you from where do you live in your home country who do you live with who do you share your room with? What do you eat in your breakfast? And where does your father work? And what do you do after school? So this is the question all I want you. Use them to write your own paragraph about yourself and you have to be guided with this, uh, this question, okay? After that, page seven, complete the text message with I want to complete with can, shall, have. The first one, hi Emma, have you got that game called Odo Out? No, I don't play that game now. Next, any other children's games? I want to ask here, with have you got, shall, and can. Shall and can must be followed by a yes, subject plus verb. Here I don't have that, so I have to ask with have you got? So have you got any other children? Next, yes I do. I borrow. So I borrow in this evening. So yes, for polite requests, I have to ask what shall I borrow? Next, of course, I play it too. So can I play it too? And the last one, okay, the last one, can I play it too? It's better with three people and I still enjoy that game. Next. Now read the following story in the student book and what do you think about the meaning of the highlighted words? This one, large, terrible, attractive, poor, railway line and the present. We have four, huh, four or five words I want you Guess the meaning of them, and uh, huh, this is during or from the text, and after that we have some question, and we want to know the meaning of them all. So I give you one minute to read it well and get the meaning of these words. Okay. Now we got the meaning. Let's have the question. Look, we have six pictures and I want to match this picture with the words. The first one, railway line. Uh, do you think this one? Or I think railway line that 
I think for the dream. Yes, very good. Okay, so this is the root for the dream. Very good. Number two, large. Look at this duck and that duck. So it is very big. Okay, bigger than that. But it's very big. So I say it's what? Large. Very good. Next, poor. Poor people, the people that doesn't have enough money to live. So I think this man, okay. After that, uh, the present. We can put the thieves on at. So which one? Yes, very good. After that, attractive. When something attracts you. So I think, what? Yes, this one. The last one, look at this boy and his expression. So I think this is what he sees something very bad. So terrible. Okay. Next. I want to match, read the story again and match to make sense. The first one at the beginning, the children live in, yes, the city. Number two. The first home is, yes, is what? Very good. Big with a garden. So their house or their first home is huh, big with a garden. Next. They move to a small, simple house. They move to. They move to. Next. Number four. Near their new home, there is what? A railway line. Very good. B. Next. One of their new friends is a kind old man. A kind old man. Next, the last one. The children are very happy when they see their father again. Yes, their father again. Next. Now, look at the words in bold in the story. The attractive and uh, present, all these words. This is the highlighted words in the story. Match the words with the definition. The first one, a place where the people go when they, yes, do something wrong. Yes, present. Number two, the route that the train travels on. Yes, railway line. Very good. People without enough money. Yes, you are very good. Huh? Poor. Very good. Beautiful. Yes, huh? Attractive. Very big, as I told you, the dog. Yes, large. Very bad, terrible. Okay? So now we finish the first part in our unit. Okay, see you soon. Uh, thank you. Goodbye.